So this week I'm trying to plan the look and feel of the application since command line applications are not really hitting users emotions anymore. I'm trying to think of something with a funky graphical user interface. The gurus call this UI or UX or HX. I don't know the difference between any of them, but apparently we need some graphical interaction on our platform. Of course, I want to write this in Rust. So I spent the last week writing a web view UI in Rust. Admittedly, what Silicon Valley is good at is getting users onto their products. They say it's because they have more centralized control over their UI, which is not the same in free software. But may I ask you, does this look like a bad UI? All the buttons you need are visible. As inspiration, I thought it's a good idea to first look at how other uh, websites are handling this nowadays. I actually haven't used the internet for ages outside of Emacs. So let's start our browser. Ah! Okay, uh, now that that's settled, um, I'll go to my favorite search engine. No stories? What are people posting nowadays? Try another search engine. Duck, duck, go onion. Ah, so this is... Okay. Well, it's just a list of blue links with some two phrase descriptions. There aren't any votes or anything. It just... Okay. State of the art in search engines. Never go for the first one. Before we get to the recipe, let me explain to you. Okay, and then we have some... I assume these are social media buttons, the pin wall. And okay, we're already being presented with free coupon codes. Okay, so there's a video playing. It's following us, just an empty frame, an awfully long image, another empty frame, another empty frame, very nice uh, pop-up. When do we get to the recipe? Okay, this is just white. Oh, this is an image. Okay, six megabytes, that's, uh, that's like a standard size of a website. And we could probably launch like 60 moon missions, but I mean, we have to respect the SORDEF's law that for every doubling in network and hardware speed, inefficiency in software quadruples. So I figured out the recipe was actually on another page. What is this white space on the right side for? For note taking? But anyway, we get our recipe, simple, black on beige. Another reminder for posting this particular recipe from this particular author. Okay, why, why are we presented with cars here? Oh, this is an ad, okay. Well, more social media reminders, more info on the author. Oh, and now we have comments, great. Okay, let's try another. So this is another website I found. Okay, so they want to store our data. I mean, I assume to get the full experience, receive a small commission at the right. Okay, so this is also upfront honest. Okay, so there's a story again. I feel these ads are doubling. There's some sort of mechanism that they're doubling. We need to be very fast with finding the recipe. I saw this one already for the third time. Hello, hello, Mr. Website. Okay, this is just white space. There's. Okay, is this another image or? Okay, now we got this ad again, we need to rush. What are these things all loading? We have 5G in the favelas. And this is on every website, isn't it? Is that like, is that like a web standard that that should be in every website? What's people? Also, oh, these are the social media things. Okay, very important to have the social media in different parts of the screens. Great. So there's a lot of storytelling and some ads, a lot of very large images and some ads. Many people actually don't know that if you have four in a row, from all the rainbow colors, you get a free gift. I mean, I get it. It's it's like an uh, orchestralic piece, right? There needs to be a tension arc. Everything step by step before you get to the actual information. Let's go on to Chomain recipe one. Okay, that we consent that their partners... I mean, we cannot reject it, so I mean, I guess we'll have to accept it. Or is this not... I cannot accept it. Okay, let me reject this one then. So we have a long introduction about the Chinese word. Oh, this one's nice. This ad is following us. Innovative. There's a lot of descriptions about the entire process. Okay, these, these ads kind of look disgusting. Can we opt out of them? I don't want to... Okay, so now we're being presented with another pop-up that caused the entire website to reprocess. So now we're back where we left off. Ingr oh, oh, I thought this was another pop-up. Okay, so these ads are all very diverse. We have uh, Alzheimer, mental health, everything. Great. On a Chomin recipe website. Stay home. Okay, I'm staying home, don't worry. And we have the ingredients, finally. All right, this one was quick. We only have the pin wall and Facebook here. Oh, okay, so they're hiding. Okay, what if I click on this one? Okay, so there are two pop-ups, three. 
four pop-ups really blocking us. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, so that's black on white, our recipe website. Also, there are ads behind these loaders. Okay, I see now. If you encounter any audiovisual problem of viewing this video, you can... Why should we encounter any... Okay, so this is an ad disguised in a video. Okay, I'm, I'm not falling for this trap again. With yellow pages, by now I would have already ordered and eaten my chow mein. So all of these websites always have a lot of commenting or more comments. <sighs> this one has the social media buttons twice to make sure that we really do not forget it. Actually, there's another social media section here. Oh, we have, a, we have a shortcut, jump to recipe. I didn't see this, but now let's do the whole experience. I mean, that's what it was designed for, the internet. Okay, we have our loading banners. These things are, I don't know, they're always loading. And the images are loading. Bid, bid request. There's another bid, bid request. Auction. What are they bidding on? Some trackers, dynamic CSS, analyzers, web workers, and a speed up JS. Oh, okay, so they're loading a four megabyte script to make their 2.71 megabyte website fast. Okay, that's the trade off. I mean, it's just the, the, the whole text on the story, which I don't want to read because I came for the recipe, right? And a lot of just white space. Um, and this one is grandma's chop suey. This one's actually different from the other ones. And we're there. We got our box. Simple as that. Okay, these things are doubling again. Okay, we not have another social media reminder. And again, social media reminder. This one actually, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's like the golden standard. Why is there always so much white space in here? Oh, wait, there's actually, there's actually, wow, why is this text white? I mean, these are just random words. I mean, there's a lot of stuff loading in here. I just want five lines of text on how to make the chop suey recipe. But okay, I mean, that's part of the experience. New website, let's see how this scores. I mean, buttons, they look different. Okay, we don't really see the images. They usually come in very late. They assume that we will be reading the text first. Oh, this one's actually interactive. I feel like all of these websites kind of look the same. The only difference is the carbs of the recipe. The scrolling bar is just getting smaller and smaller. I feel it will disappear at some point. Oh, is this a joke? This time we're actually looking for an oat milk recipe. Okay, we're being asked to share all our data again. Social media things four times. Okay, this one has like five times. Very handy. I mean, oat milk should be probably oat and milk. Okay, so we have a highlight, not a pop-up. Okay, we have a nice video of how to prepare it. Oh, I just fell for the trap again. Okay, well, I mean, I saw these ads before. And now they're following us across websites. Okay, so again, upper caps, social media reminder. Oh, and there we go. We have our data. This seems to be the golden ratio of, uh, of website design. But oh, okay, oat milk is actually water and oat. Why do they call it oat milk? What, not oat water? I guess if I would read the entire stories, I will figure this out in our comments. Okay, and another subscription reminder for the newsletter. Oh, we can actually go all the way back to the top and all the way back to the bottom. Why, why did it jump? Okay, I really want to give us a very bouncy experience in here. So this seems to be the difference between UI and UX. Oh, this site uses Akismet again to reduce spam. I mean, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what their definition of spam is. And the ads are clearly part of the experience, so all right, this one's taking 22 seconds to load. 47. Oh, why is this all going up? I mean, it doesn't finish me. Okay, I will stop this. I feel if I keep loading, I will get an email from my provider. All right, it's going up. All right, 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 okay, stop. I mean, is this one doing the same? No, this one actually terminates. Great. Let's actually look at a website that is comparing recipes. Okay, so I found this website, which is telling me that I need four gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 20. So this seems to be the requirement to participate in society nowadays. Okay, so now I am mounting another RAM stick. We're actually being blocked by a lot of websites because we're using Tor. So we will try to access now through vanilla Firefox. Ah! I am cool. Okay, I'm by now I am cool with these cookies, so there's like a whole batch of JavaScript libraries. Yeah, that's what it takes to look like any other website on the internet. I mean, they're raising over 80 billion. They could at least fix those gray frames. I mean, the people who read these articles are not clicking on this, are they? Take action with Apple. But we want to take action against Apple. <laughs> 